Hi there, Nick with the ASINs and team. In this video, we're going to look at how to account for your FBA inbound shipping costs on AZ Insight. First, let's start with understanding what is FBA inbound shipping cost and how AZ Insight can account for this. FBA inbound shipping cost is the cost you pay to ship a product into Amazon's warehouse to be fulfilled by Amazon. This cost can affect your profit margin and ROI, so it's important to account for it as much as you can. AZ Insight allows you to estimate this cost per product based on product size tier and hazardous status. To set FBA inbound shipping, start by going to the gear settings icon, then click on calculator settings, then locate the drop down that says FBA inbound shipping. Once you click on this drop down, you'll have three options. The first option is to show the FBA inbound shipping box on the calculator so that you can quickly turn it on or off on the fly. You can also edit the shipping cost right inside the calculator, which we will show later on. The second option is for hazardous products. Here, you can add an inbound shipping cost per pound for a product that is detected as hazardous. Remember, for this option to work, you must be logged into Seller Central so that the seller restrictions feature can detect that the product is hazardous and adjust the inbound shipping cost. The third option is to set the FBA inbound shipping cost the same for all the product size tiers. The product size tier can be found on the AZ Insight calculator underneath the ship weight. Here, AZ Insight will tell you what product size tier the product is based on Amazon's information. If you click and set same price for all product size tiers, AZ Insight will use this cost per pound on all the product size tiers it calculates. If you wish to set individual FBA inbound shipping costs for the various size tiers, you can do that here. Setting the inbound shipping for the individual product size tiers is great if you know what your shipping rates are. Keep in mind, AZ Insight also gives you an option to set how the inbound shipping weight is calculated. Locate and click on the drop down that says FBA inbound shipping weight selection. Here you can tell AZ Insight to use the actual product weight or the greater of the product weight versus the dimensional weight. To learn more about the FBA inbound shipping weight selection, visit our support portal where you may find some knowledge based articles detailing the difference between these two options. For this example, I'm going to click to show the FBA inbound shipping on the calculator and then I will set the same price for all size tiers. I've entered 30 cents per pound. So let's see how it looks on the AZ Insight calculator. Click on save to apply the changes. Then click on the calculator tab. And now we can see the inbound shipping at 14 cents for this ASIN with a buy cost of $10. Here you can turn the inbound shipping cost off or on or change it on the fly. Here I've entered 50 cents. You can see this reflected on the fees breakdown. Hover your mouse over the information next to the profit and here you'll see the inbound shipping cost included in your fee breakdown. And that about covers it for this video. If you have any questions, reach out to a customer champion at support.asinzen.com.